Is this a vlog? Guess I'm doing a vlog. On how I ended up in this Sick Kids commercial. So here's how that happened. Sometime in August, I got an email from an agency and they were looking for people to be in a Sick Kids commercial. But not a commercial like Eat This Burger, a commercial like, hey, let's build a new Sick Kids hospital. I'm sure most of the locals know, for those of you who don't, Sick Kids is a hospital that is a staple in the city of Toronto. If you live in the greater Toronto area, odds are you know someone who was affected by Sick Kids in some way. Sick Kids was one of the hospitals that we visited in the 90s who helped out my sister. And my mom, when she was four years old, got open heart surgery at Sick Kids back in the 60s. My mom was actually talking to someone recently about the fact that she had heart surgery at Sick Kids, and the person she was talking to said, so did I, and they figured out that they actually had the same surgeon. Long story short, Sick Kids Hospital has been saving lives for decades. So I'm like, yeah, I want to be in this, why me? The idea was for an ad that assembled all sorts of crews. You know, most of them having to do with lifestyle, people who go to the gym all the time, people who like to ride motorcycles, cosplayers, fans of different sport teams. Ah, they heard I like the Leafs. Good cause, it involves the Leafs, I'm in. So the day finally comes, it's a rainy Friday in downtown Toronto. It's been raining on and off all day, so it's basically just a mud pit. So all the extras that are supposed to be in this ad, myself included, gather under this tent. It was, uh, bizarre. There's people dressed up like hardcore bikers. Guys decked out in all their basketball gear. There was, like, some sort of breakdance crew. A bunch of cosplayers wearing all kinds of furry ears. I think there was a Cortana costume. We're all cramped under this tent. It's leaking. There's puddles at our feet. And I'm looking at Master Chief like, hey, man, can you pass some veggie straws? There were different trailers you can go in to get makeup done. I just went with the boring stripes across the face but other people, they got their whole face done. Some people drove there with the face paint on. But the person in the middle of it all delivering their soliloquy, if you will, was Colm Fior. You might remember him as General Brockhart from House of Cards. And he was the one in charge of calling to action all of the crews. And at the end, when he sort of wraps up trying to rallying together everyone to raise money so that we can build a new sick kids hospital, he goes, Who's with us? And then everyone in the crowd, there's like at least 200 of us, is supposed to just freak out, yeah! Leaf fans, ah! Cosplayers, ah! There were like a dozen motorcycles at the front. Vroom, vroom. There was a group of TFC fans, they were lighting off flares. Oh. And we did that. I'm not kidding, at least 50 times. Because we had to do different takes, different angles, let's try this, let's try that, let's maybe do it from over here. It was great, you know, we would chat amongst ourselves between takes. I was standing next to the golfers, I made friends with a golfer. I think he just dressed the part, I don't think he was an actual golfer. He was a drummer. And then the director had an idea. Because in one of the first drafts of the script, Colm is supposed to call for every lifter, every lefty, every Leafs fan. Even the bandwagon jumpers. You know, going with all the L's. And being inclusive. Yes, I'm calling on Leaf fans. Even the bandwagoners. But the director's looking at us and we're all decked out. We're all hardcore fans, obviously. We need bandwagoners. And he's looking at all us Leaf fans who showed up like, none of you guys look like bandwagoners. You know what? Um... Can one of the Leafs fans take off their shirt? And I'm standing there like, uh, what? And they're like, yeah, you know, we need someone to, you know, they'll be standing there without their shirt, and then when we call on the bandwagoners, they, they, they put their jersey on. Does anyone want to do that? Does anyone have any volunteers? No. And I hear a bunch of voices from the Leafs fans behind me going, Dangle! Oh, why do I have to be Dangle? Oh, what am I, what, I, uh, gee, what am I gonna do, say no? Be the high maintenance guy at a commercial shoot for a children's hospital? So I took off my stupid shirt. And so I'm just standing there like a lemon. Why do I? have to be the guy with no shirt. There was a giant group of people there. There were the gym people, the lifters. You could have had one of them without a shirt. They weren't wearing a shirt anyway. I could have gave them an extra jersey. I brought some. Look at all chiseled on TV. But instead they picked the pizza loving video blogger with back problems. So we continue. Who's with us? I'm standing there without a shirt like I'm so insecure. I put on a brave face. Yeah! And I'm trying to seem like this is not mortifying. And again, it's part of the script. The bandwagon jumpers. And I'm the only one. So they're getting like close-ups of me. Thank goodness they didn't end up using that take. So long story short, that's how close my nipples came to being on your television. It's a shame, we could have raised a lot of money. I'll donate 10 million dollars so I never have to look at that again! So I eventually put my freaking shirt back on, shoot a few more takes, get a few more close-ups, and then we're done at that part of the shoot. A select group of Leaf fan volunteers got to go to a secondary shoot. And a bunch of the people, I don't think they knew what was coming, but I did. They filled me in. So we get there, this little alleyway around Wellington and Young in Toronto. And standing there, ready to join us for our shoot, Leafs GM Kyle Dubas. Woo! 
I had found out earlier in the night that he was 100% confirmed to go. And the thing with him was he was supposed to walk through this dark alleyway with a bunch of Leafs fans and look all tough. And let me just say something because some people seem confused about how these commercials are presented because they're very dark and who's with us? It's almost like Braveheart. And then we're in an alleyway with a smoke machine like gangs in New York. And if it seems like we're portraying that we're ready for a fight, that was the point. We're ready to fight to get a new sick kids hospital built. And if you join us in the fight to get that done, then you join us in the fight against childhood illnesses. Like an illness was this actual manifested real life monster that you could punch in the mouth. That's why it looked like we were ready for a fight. So we're standing there, all right? We're mean mugging, all right? We're in the alley. But luckily, there's too many Leaf fans. Better to have too many than not enough, right? So they're getting people out of the shot to stand at the side and they go, uh, you, we need to get you out. You with the white jersey, I think you you can get out. I'm standing there like, oh, I think I made the cut. And you uh, brown hair there in the back, yeah, you gotta go. And I instead stood behind the camera, which actually allowed me to get wicked footage. Now, let me step into it a bit. I mean, look at this. Look at the badassery. I gotta give a shout out to all the Lease fans who came out to the shoot. A lot of them were there for five, six hours, most of it in the rain and a ton of it in the mud. And I'll throw Kyle Dubas in there too because his part of the shoot took place at about 11.30 at night or so and it wasn't done until around one in the morning. The general manager of the Toronto Maple Leafs past midnight on a Friday night in a dingy alleyway in the rain donating his time to Sick Kids Hospital. I just can't help but have a tremendous amount of respect for that. And the final product of that second shoot... I wasn't in the mm, alley part, but I got my close up with a shirt on. Look at this. Urgh, I'm so tough and intimidating. Oh, you're afraid of my chin. Oh, you're terrified of my chin. And then there's Kyle. He's actually got it figured out. See, like that actually looks badass. Come on now, Kyle. One little Easter egg that people have picked up on on Twitter, and I was surprised because I hung out with this person for several hours and I did not notice a Mike Van Ryan jersey. Now, a lot of you were making fun of this person, but that's a Leafs fan. And you might be like, hey, I'm a Leafs fan. No, that's a Leafs fan. Through thick and thin. How do I know? They have a Mike Van Ryan jersey. You don't make fun of someone who knows that kind of pain. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how I got to join in on a commercial shoot for Sick Kids Hospital. You'll notice that the theme of the overall ad was different crews coming together. I got a few links down below, and this is one of them. You can join your crew. You can buy the merch, shirts, hoodies, and it goes towards Sick Kids. And you can rep your crew. I think there's the cosplayers, the ballers. If you would like any of that merch or just to donate, click the link in the the description down below. And if you'd like to watch the full ad in which I'm an extra, but I, I don't know if you can see me. If you can, it'll be like, where's Waldo? It'll be in one of the boxes around my head. So that is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really liked it. Ask all your friends who's with us.